it's your life you literally only have one life why would you want to live that life feeling insecure about a specific part of yourself hi beautiful welcome back to my channel it's just oni here and i am back with another video if you're new here welcome and if you're returning welcome back on this channel we talk about everything glowing up leveling up and becoming the woman of our dreams if that sounds like videos you love to watch make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a video and without further ado let's just hop right on into this video on today's video this will be sort of a continuation of my last glowing up video on my last glowing up video i talked a little bit about the importance of why you should start your glow up journey we had some great conversations in the comments and i just wanted to piggyback off of those conversations i feel like women we are expected to invest into everybody else and pour into everybody else but when it comes to pouring into ourselves, investing into ourselves, people try to shame us for it. In the media, growing up high maintenance was frowned upon. For example, I know like growing up when I was a kid, you would see high maintenance women or women who constantly invested into their looks and beauty. They were always seen as like the villain or the dumb friend. An example of this was Sharpay Evans or London Tipton, for example. Like those are characters that we saw growing up that were typically made the villain of the story for and we saw this a lot in movies you would see like in movies the high maintenance beautiful woman was always the mean girl and the girl who always got everything she wants was always like the more girl next door so i say this because i feel like we were taught and ingrained from a very very young age that investing into your beauty and being high maintenance is a bad thing and makes you a villain and makes you a bad person when this should not be the case like it is okay to pour into yourself it's okay to invest into your looks it's okay to be a high maintenance woman and it's okay to not be we live in the real world investing into your beauty is crucial i believe it is so important to invest in your looks it is so important to take care of your looks it is so important to start your glow up journey because your quality of life will improve drastically improve socially it could improve financially it will improve physically it'll just improve in every aspect that you can think of when it comes to women of color especially i just want to remind us that just because you prioritize your looks and you actually care about how you are perceived in day-to-day -day society that does not make you vain okay that does not make you vain that does not make you shallow that does not mean you idolize beauty people will come under my video and say things like beauty isn't the only thing that matters other things matter da, da, da. yes this is true thank you so much for stating the obvious <laughs> If I am ever focusing on beauty and the importance of beauty in my video, that does not mean that I'm saying nothing else matters. I have plenty of videos where I talk about mental health, financial health, physical health, hygiene, and more. So you can go watch those videos if you want to. They're all on my channel. They're all up for you guys to see. But whenever I do discuss the importance of beauty and why it is important to start your glow up, that does not mean that I'm saying everything else does not matter and we should only care about our looks. I thought that was obvious, but, <laughs> but unfortunately some people don't know two things can exist at once and that's okay. So if you feel the need to comment hate in my comments when you do come across a video like this where I talk about it's the importance of glowing up you might not just be ready for this conversation so i want to just ask you if you could just please click out of this video i have so many other videos talking about so many other things because honestly some people are not ready for this conversation some people are not ready for the truth and i'm here making this video for my girls who love the truth for my girls who want to have real and raw discussions and for my girls who just want to keep going up in every aspect if you want to change something change it and if you don't want to change anything about yourself don't change it if you are in love with yourself don't change yourself you know there's ways to better yourself and i say this all the time there's ways to better yourself without changing yourself and if you want to change anything for yourself if you have anything that you just don't like about yourself or any insecurities don't feel bad for wanting to change it it's your life you literally only have one life why would you want to live that life feeling insecure about a specific part of yourself you know what I mean? 
use this life to feel the best you ever want to feel be safe about it but if you want to change something about yourself change it this isn't for my young girls if you are under the age of 21 grow into your face grow into your body grow into yourself before you start going ahead and trying to change things for my girls who are older if you feel like dang i don't really like this part of myself like i really do want to change it literally do it and don't feel bad about it and don't let anyone guilt you for, for investing into yourself cosmetically. Don't let anyone guilt you for investing into your looks and your beauty. Because at the end of the day, it's your life and you can do whatever you want with it. I want the girls to stop thinking it's okay to body shame women with cosmetic procedures or cosmetic enhancements. Body shaming is body shaming no matter what. In today's day and age, it is so normalized to body shame women with cosmetic enhancements. Like, I will go under a beautiful woman's page and I'll just see so many disgusting comments of people talking about like if she has any cosmetic enhancements say she has her lips done or she maybe has botox or maybe has you know her breast done or lipo you know i'll just see so many disgusting comments of people being like oh you look too fake you look this you look that even though those people would never make those comments to her in real life i just think it's so heartbreaking because you never know what someone is going through it's, even if they were botched no one wants to be botched like i think people tend to forget this no one wants to be botched like people who spend thousands of dollars go through so much crap when it comes to like recovering from a surgery that no one is intentionally out here trying to be botched so when you go under someone's comment section and you're like oh my god your body looks crazy you got botched like that's body shaming that's horrible and that makes you a loser if you do that like it's disgusting i'm just bringing this up because i just wanted to point out like how much crap women who invest into themselves invest into the way they look we just get so much crap and i just want you who's watching to know never ever 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 feel bad for investing into yourself and if you are being body shamed for heaven knows what if people think they could just comment on your looks just ignore those haters and just know they're either jealous they're haters or they're miserable 10 times out of 10. I'm not even gonna say nine times out of 10, I'm gonna say 10 times out of 10. But yeah, like I said, wear the makeup, get your nails done, buy the new outfit, start that new workout class, get that surgery, get the filler, do whatever it takes to make you feel better about yourself and never, ever, ever, ever feel bad about it. As a woman, you should never, ever neglect your looks. You can get overlooked, you get poor treatment, people aren't as nice to you, and this is just the truth, this is just reality. Like, when you neglect your looks, when you leave the house and you're just dressed any type of way, you're not gonna get the same treatment as if you left the house looking beautiful, if you left the house looking put together. I can't even remember the last time I left the house looking good, I got myself lunch, and I paid for my own meal. <laughs> last time like i will if i look good life is free <laughs> like and i'm trying to tell you like you grew up around people who made you feel bad for investing into your looks i want you to know right now that it is okay you will get more out of life when you pour into yourself okay you will get more out of life when you invest into yourself and investing into yourself can look like multiple different things but i'm just letting you know now never ever ever let anyone make you feel bad for pouring into yourself in the, the day it's your life you only have one life you only have one life so spend that life feeling and looking like the woman of your dreams okay so yeah that's all i have to say for today's video i hope you guys love today's video make sure you comment down below any advice or any tips or any talking points regarding starting your glow up journey and the importance of starting your glow up journey if you love this video make sure you share it with a friend make sure you like this video as well and yeah thank you guys so much for all the love i've been getting lately and yeah bye i love you guys <laughs>